Now is an amazing time to be a theme park enthusiast here in the UK. It's such an exciting time for the industry with so many new rides and attractions planned from 2023 and beyond. And in this video, I'm going to go through 12 different reasons why now is an amazing time to be a theme park enthusiast here in the UK. Let's start off by talking about the additions for 2023. We're not too far away now from the main season and here at Theme Park Worldwide, we are really excited to get back into the parks and of course see the new additions for this year. Starting off with World of Jumanji that's opening at Chessington this year. Of course this is three new rides, a full new themed area at the park including a prototype B&M wing coaster because yes it will be a shuttle coaster, it's not a complete circuit layout, it will go through the layout forwards and then backwards. This makes me really excited, I love the track colour, I think the theme is looking really good, obviously it's not too far away from testing now as well with the track being complete. This is a huge investment for Chessington but not just because it's a whole new area and a new coaster for the park. It's actually their first roller coaster investment since 2004. So this is a big deal for Chessington. We're really excited for it. We've been covering the construction on a regular basis and yeah this is opening uh, this year 2023 down at Chessington. Of course Alton Towers, the curse at Alton Manor, a complete refurbishment of Jewel, the old interactive dark ride that was in quite a poor state. We pointed that out numerous times last year on the channel and finally Alton Towers are doing the work that this ride really needs. It's been a much loved dark ride by many since it originally opened back in 1992 as the Haunted House and it was always much preferred back in those days. However 2003 Jewel came in, it did overhaul the attraction but not in the right way. It took Alton Towers nearly 20 years to realise this but finally they have and this ride's undergoing a complete transformation. What we know about this, which is very little still at the moment, however, uh, we know that a lot of money is being spent on this, a lot of imagination is going into creating a brand new storyline, all based around Emily Alton, of course, the character that you could just see in the little doll's house at the entrance to the ride previously. It's going to be this big elaborate dark ride, lots of props, lots of theming. I've been told we're not really looking at screen-based areas, we're, we're seeing full physical sets with this, so I'm really excited. Uh, major overhaul of a very dated dark ride at Alton Towers that uh, of course we're all really excited for. Now another reason to be excited for Alton Towers this year is the return of Nemesis Subterra. Now we still haven't got many details about this, however work has been actively happening around the Subterra area. We know that attraction will be coming back in some form, however we don't know the exact details on that yet. Is it still going to have the same name? Are they going to use the drop towers? Is it going to just be a walkthrough? There's a lot of questions and not a lot of answers yet. However, there's been a lot of activity happening around that building, so it is going to be returning to use in some form we just don't know what that form is yet but still it's exciting because that building has only been used for a scare maze really since that attraction closed uh, it only operated for a few years so it's going to be really nice to see something happening permanently to that building again and it really is needed especially with Nemesis being closed this year some extra capacity to the park um, which is very exciting now something else that I'm really looking forward to is down at Thorpe Park and that is Ghost Train. So this is a complete reimagining of Darren Brown's Ghost Train Rise of the Demon. Uh, when that attraction opened it was very impressive. Of course originally without Rise of the Demon it was just Darren Brown's Ghost Train VR attraction. Very immersive experience when it worked. It was a very unreliable ride over the years. It got the reputation between ourselves and many other people out there to be a very unreliable attraction. There was always evacuation happening. If it wasn't that, it was your headset not working and having to move. Um, it was a great concept, poorly executed. Uh, however, Thought Park are trying to fix that now, which I really appreciate. So, um with Ghost Train, they're actually taking off the VR completely on this. Um, I think the storyline is going to change and be completely updated. Um, I've heard that they're just throwing quite a bit of money at this to make it right. So hopefully we're going to see this being a really nice addition for this year um, down at Thorpe Park. But there's not loads of details yet. As we get more, of course, I'll film another news update going into more detail. And that's the thing with everything I'm talking about here. There's going to be some separate videos, news updates, construction updates coming up um, here on the channel for lots of different things. But uh, yeah, Ghost Train coming to Thorpe Park uh, for this year, which I think is really exciting. 
Something else to really be pumped for, finally, after being closed for over three years, is the return of Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. An absolutely amazing dark ride. Of course, it's a water ride featuring lots of different drops and special effects. This ride has undergone a huge overhaul and I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what it's like. I used to love the attraction just how it was and so did millions of other people that rode it each year. However, Blackpool felt the need to update it. I feel like a lot of the update was done mainly due to safety for evacuations and that sort of thing. We know for a fact there's all new evacuation platforms and that sort of stuff that's gone in, which of course is priority because safety is paramount. However, what else are we going to see? We know the storyline looks a bit darker for this. They've painted all the station black. Uh, the boats look like they're going to be painted and some other changes. So yeah, I think with this one, we're going to be seeing some pretty big changes in there to what it was before. Uh, maybe some of it's been done a little bit last minute. However, fingers crossed uh, they're going to have got this one right. I really do hope so. It's been closed for the best part of three years. We do know for a fact that work hasn't been ongoing in there for three years, though. It only really started to ramp up last year. So let's hope that this hasn't been rushed. Let's hope they've really put the thought and time into it uh, because this could be, once again, an absolutely amazing ride again. But Blackpool Pleasure Beach, um, let's hope uh, they're going to deliver with this epic ride when it opens. Valhalla returns this year um, to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Down at Oakwood Theme Park in Wales, they're actually doing some retrack work on Megaphobia. Uh, now, I love this wooden roller coaster. It was my favourite in the UK until last year when we went there and experienced it. And it was terribly rough, especially in some of the sections like at the bottom of the first drop and the turnaround section. Well, the good news is Oakwood realised that. And they're actually in the process of working with the Gravity Group at the moment to retrack parts of the ride and also reprofile the first drop as well, which is going to make it a little bit steeper and it mean it'll actually complete the layout even faster so that's great news because you've got to think with a ride like Megaphobia um, at a park like Oakwood um, you know it's nice to see that they're actually spending the money on this because like, Oakwood don't really like spending a huge amount on new attractions um, I don't think the money's there from the company Aspro that own them to be honest however they're really spending the money on Megaphobia great to see fantastic roller coaster and this should make it even better and more reliable now uh, I think that's, uh, again, another really nice positive bit of news. That's going to be opening, of course, in time for the summer this year down at Oakwoods. Drayton Manor, while well, they've been having a great couple of years of investments, yes, we've seen some sad closures along the way. However, there's lots of new things coming in, including a new ride for Thomasland this year. Uh, that will be nice family edition for there. There's not been anything since James and the Red Balloon in Thomasland. Uh, that was a good few years ago now. So it's going to be nice to see another new attraction coming in to Thomasland. And of course, and uh, yeah, another big family investment for them. As we move into next year, 2024, the park will be opening a brand new ride roller coaster this is something we'll be covering in detail here on the channel so stay tuned for that but yeah a new coaster investment for next year new family ride for this year and that's on the back of adventure cove and vikings so there's lots going on at drayton manor i feel like we've seen all the removals now and it's going to be a lot of positivity with lots of new things coming in or at least i hope so anyway um yeah that's very exciting so for this year and also next year at drayton manor of course, a huge project is just getting underway down at Thorpe Park, ready for next year, 2024. It is Project Exodus. It's going to be the tallest roller coaster in the UK. Now, this is going to be amazing to see go up. Of course, we're going to be heading down there soon, starting our construction series and uh, really following the build of this epic new ride. I mean seeing something of this scale being built in the UK is amazing. I didn't think you would ever see something as tall as the big one, let alone topping the big one's height. So yeah, it's really exciting to see a massive new coaster like that being built in the UK. Uh, the inversions on there look massive as well. Uh, and of course, that first drop is going to be pretty spectacular. I've done two Mac Hyper coasters now, and both of them are fantastic. So I'm sure this one will be a little bit short, possibly. However, um, it's going to be really impressive seeing it all there. This big structure in front of you an epic first drop, some really tall inversions. Uh, I think it's going to be a great ride. And no matter what, it's a massive investment. The tallest coaster in the UK coming to Thorpe Park. Portons Park, uh, they're also in the process of building a new water ride that's set to open in 2024. So yes, that's something to follow down at Portons. Looks like it could be part of the Lost Kingdom dinosaur themed area. Uh, obviously Portons these past five years, while well, they've made some amazing investments, it all kind of started for them with Peppa Pig World. And then since then, they've really spent a lot of money on updating the rest of the park. Uh, Lost Kingdom, uh, Tornado Springs, uh, it really is a brilliant park. The theming is the best in the UK in my opinion. Uh, 
this is exciting. Major water ride, um, replacing hopefully um, their very old and kind of dated flume ride that they've got there. It's just a traveling flume ride that, don't get me wrong, the park uh, maintained really well. They painted up nice each year, but still, it's a traveling ride. So it'll be nice to see what I'm hoping to be a permanent water ride coming into Portland's Park. But yeah, another really exciting investment coming in um, for 2024. Also for next year then, Legoland Windsor. Two new roller coasters, of course, dueling coasters, gonna be built up on the hillside. And uh, yeah, construction's underway on that now, the groundwork's getting started. And yeah, this'll be nice to see because it's some more capacity for Legoland Windsor. Some dueling coasters um, should be great because obviously there'll be two trains, one on each track, interact with each other. The layout looks pretty good as well. We get some nice views from the lift hills, it seems. Um, so yeah, this is another nice investment for Legoland. On the back, uh, some great dark ride investments. They've spent a lot on indoor attractions these past few years, whether it's refurbishing old ones and bringing new ones in, such as the Flight of the Sky Lion in Lego Mythica. Um, so yeah, to see a new coaster going in or a set of coasters uh, really is fantastic and much needed for Legoland Windsor. They've also got new investments coming in, such as the golf and also expanding their accommodation as well. So that's very exciting times going on. Nemesis Reborn 2024. Yes, Nemesis will be coming back next year to Alton Towers. Of course, all the old tracks now being removed. We'll have another update on the way soon for that one. As uh, along with a lot of these, we'll be following the construction and news updates all throughout the year. Um, but yes, Nemesis Reborn, really excited for this to come back next year. Uh, honestly, it's an iconic ride for Alton Towers, 1994 BNM Invert. Of course, the replicating the layouts. However, it's going to come back with a new colour scheme and also some new theming around as well. Believed they're going to be enhanced in the monster, adding some new near misses and things around the ride. Um, so this is very exciting for Alton Towers in 2024, where Nemesis is reborn and returns to the park. Sticking at Alton Towers then now, and Secret Weapon 9. Of course, we saw the plans for Project Horizon not too long ago, and uh, yeah, hopefully they're gonna get passed, and we should be seeing this getting built next year, ready for an opening in 2025. Secret Weapon 9 looks set to be a major indoor ride, um, hopefully an indoor roller coaster. I'm led to believe that it's going to be. Our sources see to say that it's gonna be an indoor roller coaster, um, so I really do hope that is the case. Um, I don't see why not. It's been quite a while now, since Wicker Man opened in 2018. I'm sure Alton Towers want another big world beating attraction. Um, so yeah, that is really exciting. A major indoor ride, fingers crossed a roller coaster coming to Alton Towers in 2025. 12 amazing reasons why now is an amazing time to be a UK theme park enthusiast. And that's not even everything. There's other projects going on as well, obviously subject to planning permission. However, these are the things that we know we can definitely look forward to in the coming years. And you know what? I'm really excited for everything on there. Uh, there's some great things happening this year, of course, into 2024, some bigger investments. And then 2025 is already looking great for the local park, Alton Towers as well. Which ones are you most looking forward to? Comment down below and uh, let us know your thoughts here on Theme Park Worldwide. And like I say, there's going to be some separate videos delving into a few of these um, with more detail, whether that's construction updates for the likes of Exodus that we'll be covering on a regular basis, the opening of World of Jumanji, and of course, our regular updates from Alton Towers and beyond. So stay tuned for those here on our channel. But there we go. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. I'll see you all in the next video.